Hello friends. Today we will discuss a common problem that we all face when we copy data from Excel and paste it on PowerPoint. Whenever we copy some data like this one from Excel and paste it on PowerPoint, it looks something like this. It's boring and it's ugly. What if we can convert this data into something like this? And what if we can do it in under five minutes? Yes, under five minutes. So let's jump right into it. I have kept this cell, that is the one that you are seeing right now, as a reference. I'm going to open a new slide using a blank slide, and then I will jump into Design, Format Background, and choose a solid fill and choose this shade of orange. I will close it, then. I will get into insert, get text box and type title slide. Oops. Yep, title slide. Then I will select this and I will select a font type of Arial Black. And then I will choose a size of 70. Then I will center line it. And from a range, I will rotate it to the left by 90 degrees. I will take it to the left hand side and stretch it over the entire breadth of the slide. After doing this, I will change the font color to white and fill the shape with black. This black. Once this is done, I will get into insert and choose a rounded rectangle. This rounded rectangle will stretch over the entire part of the slide. Once this is done, I will use shape fill and I will choose this shade of black and shape outline as no outline. Once this is done, I will go to the format shape. Then going to the format shape, I will choose the second option that is effects. There I will choose shadow. In shadow, in presets, I will choose this option. After this, the color that I will choose is white. And then the transparency will be 60. No, I think it should be 40. Yeah, 40. And the blur will be 60. This will give it a nice halo effect as you can see around the black uh, rect rounded rectangle. Once this is done, I will go to Excel, copy the data that I wanted. I will copy it, Control C, come out here and paste it. Control V. Then I will bring it right in the middle. Then I will stretch it as to how I need it. Now I will stretch it. And then I will stretch it some more. I will adjust it somewhere in between if it is possible. Give it few more adjustments. Stretch it one more time. Mm, still not it. I can think I can do it much more. Yeah. And one last thing. Yep, done. Once this is done, I will get into design and choose the shading as same as the background. Once this is done, the borders will be no borders. After this, I will choose the font color to be white. Once this is done, I will go into the layouts, click on center vertically and center align. Once this is done, I will go into the home and there I will choose Arial rounded and the font size as 20 and this looks something like we wanted now what i can do is to make it a bit more better i will choose all the data and the font for that will be Arial narrow also if i want to highlight some data labels i can select those data labels and i can give it a lighter shade of black like this one also i can highlight something that is important and change the color into something let's say an orange similarly if i want to highlight a data set i can do that and change its color and that's it that's how easy it is we have successfully converted a boring data set into something that is very attractive and creative which shows data in a very effective manner if we compare it this is what it was before and five minutes later it was something like this here are some more templates that we have gotten. 
this is the one that we have made here's another one with the blue background here is the one with the image and we have some more effects like the gradients that you can see on the right hand side this is the one with stars and here's the one thank you for watching this video hope you find our video helpful and if you did do share it with your friends and family thank you thank you for watching the tutorials from slides and cell the link for the free template is given in the below description thank you for watching our video if you liked our video don't forget to like subscribe and comment on our videos thank you now see you next week